Hi, I'm Henry Kissel. And I'm Paula Kissel. And together we are Fun Kiss Artistic Creations. You know, a lot of people ask us, what's the origin of this Fun Kiss thing? And it's really not complicated. It's the first and third letters of Paula, and the first and third letters of Henry, and then part of our last name, Fun Kiss. That's the origin, and now the mystery's been solved. <laughs> How do you define yourself? Uh, for me, artist first, then maker, creator. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would so have hard. to. <laughs> it, it, it is very difficult. You know, growing up, even when I was a little kid, I've always been the one who could fix things. Hey, Henry, you're a pretty handy guy. Can you fix this for me? Um, or, hey, you fix this. Can you build me a stand for this or a cabinet? And I guess, you know, going forward, I, I, I'm still that handy guy. Now we call, we're called makers. Um, we've kind of ventured into uh, the artistic world. Maybe we're artists. Um, I guess to me, I'm just that, still that, that handy guy. I can still, mm. you know, work with my hands and, and build and fix stuff. The last project that I made was uh, a two pictures actually on sanded paper branching out a little bit into a new medium of pastels. One is of a sunset, the other one is of a rose. So I guess that's the last one. Still a work in progress, but hopefully I'll finish that soon. Far less artistic for me on my last project. It was just a, a cart to uh, hold my oxy acetylene welding torch and bottles. Mm, <laughs> That's the last one. thing that I worked on. Uh, not as artistic as what Paula has been working on. Mm. Uh, my art supplies, without question. My, my paint brushes, my paints, my pastels, my art desk. Uh, I, I just love that. I, I love art supplies. I'm a little bit of an addict for them, but uh, that's definitely my favorite. My favorite, uh, it's that, uh, boy, that's tough. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm a true believer in having the right tool for the right job. And as you get into a lot of different disciplines, whether it be woodworking or metalworking or plastics or leather or sewing, whatever it may be, you have a tendency, <laughs> or at least we have a tendency, to kind of uh, gather a lot of different type of tools. So I would almost, and it might be a cop-out answer, but my favorite tool is the one that helps me accomplish the task. So although I love my angle grinder and I love my table saw, and I really love my, uh, my, my band saw and my MIG welder, I, I, I don't know that I have one favorite tool. It's whatever tool that I have that helps me finish the job that's in front of me. There's so many of them. We've done a lot of things over the years, but the one that comes to mind right away is the table that we made out of the, the root ball of the tree that we took out of our yard several years ago. We cleaned all the dirt out and cut off all the lower roots and poured some epoxy on it and there's a lot more to it than that but that one is definitely my favorite just because it was so unique and so so different and just really part of us and we didn't want to actually throw it away so. <laughs> it was so intricate and so cool yeah. with all the roots going everywhere we've made a lot of different things uh, a lot of tables uh, furniture we've mm -hmm. made lamps we made a coffee table out of welded chain we made our kitchen table with uh, polished metal um, and uh, chrome trim uh, we made a wine bottle that uh, a shelving unit that looks like a wine bottle we've made lamps out of drive shafts mm -hmm. and we've made so many different really really cool things it's tough to find out my, what my favorite project is, but I think I have it. It is our three-part metal sculpture series. Now, we did videos on this for on our YouTube channel, um, but they are just made of found items, things that were in our scrap bins that we spent some time going through, and then we, we would grind them and bend them and weld them and polish them and put them po all part of this uh, uh, metal, metal sculpture. And uh, I, I truly do enjoy looking at those things every day. And you know, it's funny when people take a look at those items, they say, oh, I recognize that, or I know what that part's for. And uh, yeah, you're probably absolutely right. But <laughs> these are all different pieces that, that really do work together. That metal sculptures, uh, all three of those, that's definitely my favorite. Skill I most want to learn, uh, glass blowing, without question. 
Yeah, glass blowing. I would have to say that just the how you can manipulate with such intense heat the glass that is you know known to be so fragile. It just blows my mind. It's something that I definitely really want to get into. Well, thank you, Gil, for including us in this incredible series. We're actually very, very honored to be a part of this. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, if you're not familiar with our YouTube channel, Fun Kiss Artistic Creations, please check us out. Also, our website. We're also on Instagram. Um, and if you like art, I think you'll like our channel. So uh, we're constantly doing something. So mm -hmm. I definitely do appreciate, Gil, that you including us in this. And uh, we thank you very much for that. Thank you for watching. Take Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.